Hi, I'm Mike Caviston. I'm Director of Fitness at the Naval Special Warfare Center. Welcome to another training video podcast. And today I want to talk a little bit about how to do push-ups. The thing I want to stress mostly is the importance of knowing the proper technique, the proper range of motion, and exactly what sort of speed you'd like to be working at. Many times people are uh, conditioned to go as fast as possible, and certainly when you do the physical screening test, you have to do as many push-ups as you can within two minutes. But you want to make sure that you're not sacrificing quality to artificially inflate the number of reps when you're doing your general training. So when we're doing push-ups, we want to make sure that we go through the full range of motion. We want to go all the way down so that we're touching the ground and come all the way up so that the elbows are straight and even protract the shoulders a little bit. Go for even a little bit more distance there. So that's the full range of motion. And when we do the activity, we want to go slow enough so that we actually have to resist gravity going down. Maybe not this slow. I'm just sort of illustrating the point, but we don't want to fall down without any resistance at all. And so 10 push-ups, the cadence might look as opposed to doing something like this, which isn't going to be as effective in terms of preparing you and developing the core strength and the chest and shoulder strength that you're trying to develop. And that concept is going to apply to other activities that you'll do, including pull-ups, including flutter kicks, including sit-ups, and any other calisthenic exercise that you can think of where your body weight is providing the resistance. So just a training tip to think about, and uh, this has been another training video podcast.